In analysis, you can use a planning function or a sequence to add planning data to a cross tab. In this tutorial, you will add a planning function to an Excel workbook, set variables for the function, and execute the function to add planning data to an analysis cross tab. Note that this tutorial was recorded using SAP Business Objects Analysis Edition for Microsoft Office version 1.1.2.1234. To navigate, use the viewer controls or follow the on screen instructions, if available. The data source must be in change mode to add, recalculate, undo, and save planning data. Note that if you are working with a data source in change mode, then the data source is locked for other users. If you are working with a data source in display mode, then another user can work with the data source in change mode. Click Change. Next, add the planning function to the workbook. Right click Book 1. Select Use planning function. Search for the planning function that you want to use. Type the search term, and then click search. In this example, this custom planning function allows you to copy existing data, to create new data. Select the function. Click OK. Access the properties of the planning function. Click plus to expand planning objects. Select the function. To access all the properties of the planning function, the analysis window must be expanded larger than the viewing area of this tutorial. Click Maximize. On the Filter tab, you can set a variety of filter options for the planning function. This planning function includes variables that determine how data is copied. Access the variables. Click the Variables of Planning Function tab. Variable values can be set from different sources. View the possible sources. Click the source list. A variable value can be a member in a dimension, or a value from a cell in the workbook. Select values from the members in the dimension. Select members. Set the variable that determines where the data will be copied from. Click to open the member selector. Select Dieter. Click OK. Set the variable that determines where the data will be copied to. Click to open the member selector. Select Jilly. Click OK. Execute the query to add new planning data. Right click the function. Select Execute Planning Function. Note that new planning data has been added for Jilly, and the data is a copy of the data for Dieter. The new data has been added to the cross tab locally but has not yet been saved to the data source. You have successfully added planning data, using a planning function. This is the end of the tutorial.